wonderful following following yes yes our sweet ones and here we have our medicinal calendula our oil radish and here barely visible a belt of wild pollinating pollinating flowers uh, that we're gathering seeds from insect and uh, bee populations are collapsing and uh, uh, there was a lot of mystery why and recently a commission was set up and the finding of this commission was really incredible because uh, with insect and bee population collapse we're facing a possibility very shortly because the the the, the population collapse is already 60 80 percent insects and 30 percent bees 60 80 percent insects yeah sunny isn't that crazy uh, this is uh, this is a threshold of where we will see large food crop collapses because there is not enough pollinators to pollinate them. And the commission has found that the insects and the bees are freaking fucking starving. Literally, they don't have enough nutrition to survive the winter. They're dying. This is why this was so mysterious, because they're dying of multiplicity of diseases. Their whole immune system is compromised. The reason for this is this. This was a tall grass at one time. Now this is all roadside areas are being cut and trimmed. And uh, monoculture provides mainly sugar. It doesn't provide the trace elements, doesn't provide the minerals. That herbs being so healing and being so diverse in their content provide. So this is happening on side of railroads. This is habit, uh, happening due to habitat loss. This is happening because roadside loans are basically known by biologists as uh, biodiversity deserts are cropping up everywhere. This was a uh, this was Sokol Miedza. This was a a, a deep uh, a division like this with willows that was actually for a meter across. And just to get that additional meter to get literally just couple inches of more soil, they cut the willows. And this is why we're planting the willows farther down because you see. One of the large, last alleys of willows that we're actually trying to connect here, and this one's disappearing. It was cut by our postman who later hit us in the face when we were trying to point out that he's cutting trees here locally as a government official working at other times and known as a local postman. He's cutting the trees out of the cutting season. So complete lawlessness, complete disrespect for our heritage for our natural landscapes and for survival, for survival, because by destroying those habitats, we're putting ourselves in a situation where our crops can collapse. So this is a freaking writers of the apocalypse type of a situation. War, famine, climate change, droughts. We're, and, and we're it. We're making it. We're actually facing the largest extinction, the fastest extinction of life that has ever occurred. Spare two extinctions when the atmosphere has changed to such a degree that nothing could breathe on Earth. This is, this is faster than the extinction of dinosaurs. From which we have those two guys surviving. That's why you look like an ugly duckling for a while. That's why you look like a little Tyrannosaurus Rex. Because you're the survivor. You're the survivor of the last extinction. And there comes your wisdom. That so-called bird brain is an ancient brain that knows so much that we understand so little. Like insects. Insects, freaking insects. They can detect one parts per billion of a chemical, of a pheromone, of their food. The best equipment we can make is one parts per million. Bees are used to find explosives. Drone swarms are used and industrial robots are used on the same flying principle uh, fly and communicational principles as insects. And here in Poland, we have a complete collapse of respect of nature. It's a complete industrialist hell that they're creating, combining the worst of capitalism and the worst of communism with, with its authoritarianism, with its sadism, with its arrogance and... Uh, and we see this. We see the wide destruction. We have this most polluted soil in Europe. Most polluted soil and food. Most polluted rivers. Our second largest river dead. The most polluted air. This is, this is a collapse. This is a collapse like with COVID of compassion. This is a collapse of 
you know, of, of basically in Polish it's called Miłosierdzie. It's a foundation of religion that has been co-opted by people that are all for industry and profit and not for the poor. It, it's incredible. It, it's, it's shameful. Right. And this is your, this is your really sweet sound when you feel like sorry about something. Wow. And you're carrying your wings like when it's really hot. Because it's a warm day. You're trying to ventilate. And your feathers, spare for the front, and the back look like marble because of your mud bath. You're white. But look at this. Yeah. That's what Sunny says. She always says this when she reflects and is sad. They understand more than we give them credit for. And that's why their love, their, for lack of any other word, compassion and understanding and loyalty is so great. Because they loved, they love unconditionally. Like children can, like people really in love can. It's something that we lost largely. As we hear chainsaws because the cutting season has begun. <laughs>